Okay, welcome to the atrium at Aston Martin HQ. I've been here a few times and there's always some very special cars here. I'm whispering because it feels like some kind of temple here. It's very magical with some very special stuff. So conveniently, um, today we're here to pick a brand new Vantage. It is being brought around the front while I wait in here because they want the sort of uh, surprise moment when I see it. But uh, let's just run you through a couple of these cars to give you a flavor of what Aston Martin has been about historically and where they are now. Conveniently, as I mentioned, just here. Uh, this is actually the concept uh, of the new Vantage. When I say concept, check this out. It's so much of a concept that there is no interior in it at all. At all. Look, it's just flat inside. Who cannot be familiar with the classic stuff that come out of Aston Martin? We're stood next to a DB4 GT. It's essentially a lightweight, stripped out DB4 focused on racing and hill climbs and time trials and things like that. This is the sort of beauty that you would see straight in the Goodwood Revival. It's amazing to see the two cars so close to each other yet so far apart. These guys have come such a long way. And next to it, this is the DB11, which is more of their sort of Grand Tour vibe. Now, over the next few months, Aston are going to be launching some very exciting cars. This is just an example of a few of the amazing things that they've been making over the last few years. I think for me, Aston's one of those brands that have just sort of exploded in such a very short time. I know they're steeped in history, but when they brought out the Vulcan and the Valkyrie, I think I, I actually mentioned it in my uh, first drive of the Vantage video that they've acted like these halos of epicness. And so they've just filtered down so much aspiration to this brand and they're saying that you know look while we do build these road cars at the weekends we have some serious fun and they're just churning out some very special cars so speaking of special cars i believe the, the uh, vantage is outside let's go check it out <laughs> yes monumental occasion This is crazy. So for those of you guys who may have only just joined this journey because you've seen the title of this video, welcome. But for those of you who've joined the, or my Aston Martin journey from day one, I was uh, honored to be invited to present the launch of this car live last year for the global unveiling of it. On earth now I'm stood here, it doesn't even do that, feeling justice. And as part of my sort of Aston Martin experience, Aston have basically put me in this car for the foreseeable future. This is my long-term Aston Martin Vantage. So we're gonna have lots of opportunities to go through various things, but this is collection day. And I'll tell you more once we get in the car and drive off shortly about the plans for it. But let me just show you around this thing. So spec, the color is called China Gray, essentially a sort of battleship gray like flat gray it gives it such a menacing stealth look most of the cars which you guys have probably seen so far have been the iridescent lime green cars and potentially the black car that i drove uh, on the first dynamic drive event in portugal a few weeks ago but what's cool about this car is that it is a q edition vantage think of q as um, bespoke options which are outside of the standard options list so what that includes is the uh, carbon pack on the outside of this car the rear diffuser like contrasting against this china gray paint is accentuated so much it gives it this beautiful sort of flared haunches and you can, you can really appreciate the sculpture of these things because it's in such a contrast tone q is carbon rear diffuser carbon center caps on the wheels and the carbon front splitter which is also has a contrasting inner painted line which Aston Martin refer to as the lipstick. The contrast diffuser is a colour called yellow tang which is closely tied in with the contrast on the interior which is called electron yellow. I'll show you that shortly. I also forgot to mention that on the side of the car there is this inlaid carbon panel slash vent uh, which is also an optional extra in carbon fibre and again it's all about contrasting and showing off shapes and panels and things like that. Okay join me down here. Uh, this is the lipstick line that I was talking about. As I mentioned at the beginning of this the style and theme on this car is all about contrasts and I think it's brilliant because a lot of the cars I've seen uh, on photographs and video haven't necessarily done 
the sculpture on this car, Justice. But we've got all of these different layers of contrast. This lipstick against the carbon, against the china gray, it shows up just how much depth there is to the styling on this car. Continuing on the outside, and again on this theme of contrast, but yellow contrasting brake calipers. Now later on in the year, there will be optional carbon ceramic brakes available for this car, but up until now, because this is a super early car, uh, we have the uh, standard steel rotors. I tested these on track and they still feel phenomenal. And one of my favorite features of this car is the carbon roof. I think Aston as well have got their weave quality down. It's such a nice look. And today, remarkably, of all the days that it shouldn't rain, is the day that I collect this car. For those of you joining this uh, channel for the first time, it's a rolling joke. Uh, that whenever the camera comes out on my channel, it starts raining. And so much so, in fact, that when I did the track drive with this, it actually got called off for a section of time because the rain was so bad in southern Portugal. But anyway, let's go on the inside of the car and talk about this interior, which is absolutely next level stunning. I know I keep talking about and saying contrast, 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 but that theme is carried through magnificently inside here. Continuing on this Q theme, there it is, indicated that this is indeed a special spec car. Um, the carbon fiber on the interior is also carried through. These subtle inserts on the door, but when we go for the first drive in this thing shortly. So um, I think, without further ado, we should go for a drive, let you guys know what we have in store for this car. All right, first time in this car, first thing to do, is adjust the steering rack and seating position. Look at that. One of the great things that I noticed about when I drove the Vantage the first time is that there's plenty of rake and extension on the steering wheel. I know that sounds like a really small thing, but when you spend a lot of time in a car, particularly when you want to drive it with any sort of spirit and enthusiasm, you want it to fit you like a glove. And for me personally, I've always had the steering wheel a little bit closer to my chest and it's amazing how many sports cars you find that there's just not enough extension on the rack and so you end up compensating for it by moving the seat forwards but then your legs are bunched up and on longer journeys it's not ideal straight away the position here is spot on and i've still got a bit of slidey movement here yeah that's pretty good so we can tilt the yes tilt the back of the seat down low ass high thighs that's exactly what i'm after <laughs> It's, it's funny, when I interact with uh, electric seats and electric steering columns, I always think, you know, one day, they'll probably do a lightweight version of this car. Don't forget, this is day one. And so far, I mean, I've only driven this car for a few hours in Portugal, was blown away by it then. And all I can think of now is how far they're gonna evolve this thing. The last Vantage was produced, it was manufactured for 12 years which in the automotive sphere now is crazy. Like, I don't think we'll ever see a car get manufactured for 12 years again. It was just a different time then. And now they've come out with this. I'll tell you what else is crazy. I'm currently driving out of Aston Martin headquarters in a new Aston Martin Vantage. <laughs> kids we also have the sports exhaust not sure if you watch my vantage video but i was saying the sports exhaust is a game changer there's gonna be plenty of time for me to share those fruity audible flavors with you soon uh, but this is effectively a brand new car so i still have to go through the normal run-in procedures so we can't thrash it out of the gate uh, but that time will come so let me tell you a little bit about what's happening immediately. Um, I am driving out of these gates and down to the south of France. That's what's happening. <laughs> We're not messing around here. The recent collaboration with Aston Martin and Red Bull Racing couldn't be better timed because I've been invited by Red Bull to go up in one of their air race aeroplanes. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that, but just Google or YouTube Red Bull Air Race. 
Um, yeah, I'm going up in one of those planes and I'm driving this car directly down to the south of France to meet up with Red Bull and go out with one of our Red Arrow pilots, no less. So that's the first mission in this car. We're not hanging around. And basically from here on out, this is when the supercar season really kicks off. And we've got a brand new Vantage to make the most of that. So yes, when I say it is immediate road trip time, I mean, we're heading there right now. It's dream come true. It's absolutely out of this world. We're also in a super fortunate position that this is, I believe, the first car to leave the factory under the control of somebody not from Aston Martin. So I really want to hear from you guys. I want your comments as to what you want to see with this car in an incredibly fortunate position to be able to bring you such early insight into what it's like living with the new Aston Martin Vantage. So please, comments below. Let me know what you think about this spec, uh, anything you would like to see more of. Uh, there's lots of intricacies and details that we have plenty of time to go over. But as soon as this thing is ran in, which I reckon will be by the time we reach the south of France perfectly, uh, we'll then be able to open this thing up, check out how it sounds, how it handles, how it feels. Yes, this is a very good day. Slightly different angle for you before I sign off to show you this wonderful interior. Look at all of the contrasting panels and pipes and stripes and it's just so intricate. Anyway, we're gonna have lots of time to sample and indulge in this car. This is literally just collection day to give you a flavor and a theme uh, for what is to come. But we are embarking on a cross-continental journey through Europe down to the south of France for some seriously cool content that I have mentioned. As always, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Ciao.